Hello class, it's me, Miss Fuentes, today. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what makes a wolf-proof house. Today you're going to make a house that should stand up against the blowing and the huffing and puffing of a wolf if it were to be blown by one in real life. You're going to record yourself explaining how come the house that you make with whatever materials you want to make um, could stand up to the big bad wolf if it were to try to blow it away. Let me teach you a little bit about what makes a big bad wolf proof house. In the three little pigs, the brick house is the only house that could stand up to the wolf's huffing and puffing. Why didn't the first two little pigs' houses stay strong too? Let's take a look. The first little pig's house was made of straw. Now, we know that straw is not very strong. It's pretty weak, and it uh, is kind of wobbly, so if you were to push it a little bit, push against it, it would probably fall over. Also, if you notice, there's nothing holding this together. It's all just kind of standing up on its own. You see this little pig is just gathering the material and then sticking it up on the walls, but there's nothing holding it all together. Also, if you've seen straw, you know that air can just blow right through it, just right through all of the little cracks in it. And we know from the story that when something comes and blows against the house, that the straw blows away easily because it's a light material. Now in the story, the wolf comes and he the brick house uh, was made out of bricks, which means that no air could get through those cracks. So you see his air is just bouncing right off of it in those little parts because no air can get through that brick house. They stay nice and warm and toasty in there and the air can't push it over. The material is very heavy. It's hard to put together, but it's very heavy material so it can't be blown away. You can't pick up the material of the house all by yourself. It also can't be broken by you pushing or hitting against the material, which is a big deal. And also, the brick house has materials that hold it together. If you look here, there's a roof here that's holding everything together. And the little tiny cracks on the house have all sorts of other materials that are inside that glue the bricks together so that it won't fall over. So from what we know from the Little Pigs book, a wolf-proof house is a house that doesn't let the wolf's huffing and puffing bend, break, or blow it away. The wolf-proof house is strong and it's also held together by some other material. So today you're going to choose your own materials to build a house of your own. Record yourself explaining to me why your house is a wolf-proof house. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. He blows that little pig's house down. This second house is a stick house. The stick house also lets air through it, and it's not as light of a material, but it could still be blown away by the huffing and the puffing. If you pushed on the sticks hard enough, it could also break through those walls, which would not be very good. And in the stick house, nothing is holding it together either. So those are really interesting observations. Now what made the brick house better than those houses? Let's take a look.